The reason for that was simple. Uh, until 73, stereo wasn't particularly popular in the UK, unless you were a hi-fi geek. And uh, people didn't know what it was. And it was very expensive. Very, very expensive. Tagmo pointed out that the cost was about 50% of the cost of the radio. But the trouble is, the radios were so expensive in the first place. And uh, so 50% more, you're looking at, uh, if it was a £200 radio, you're talking about it being £300, aren't you? I didn't get the exact, I didn't do the calculation on that, but it's quite important that uh, people understand this. So anyway, that's how the FM, and that's why it was so good that you could buy this dongle, because if you didn't want to have FM stereo, the radios were relatively cheap. And if you wanted to have FM stereo, then they had this thing you could plug in and use. Good idea. I did think it, he was right about the fact that it wasn't very useful on the actual music sender he had because he didn't have any way of plugging it back in again to having taken the sound out he didn't have a way of putting it back in it was only for headphones but i guess uh, as most people weren't that fussed about stereo it wasn't that big a problem really if you were fussed you plugged your headphones in and if you weren't fussed you listened to it on the speakers anyway that was, that was just a thought on there uh, right this is that's we used oh here we go right <laughs> 